What do you have if I'm unmuted? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sherlock Holmes. I've been sleeping too far, too much. Really have. But it seems to have done the trick. I'm feeling a bit better. Um, I've not actually done all that much. Um, what I have done, though, is I downloaded the PS5 version. Apparently, I've also done mine Laban. Hello and welcome, Malin. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. Very much appreciated. That's for nine months now, though. Fairly certain you've only ever you've only just started with Prime. Still, very much appreciated there. Thank you. Yeah. Um, also, new addition to the Lord Dragon Horde. It's good at that. I love it. A little bongo dragon. Adorable. Um. What was I saying? Yeah, I grabbed the PS5 version of Ghost of Tsushima. Um, the amount of feedback in this controller, just from doing the options and starting things up, holy shit. They really take for, um, full advantage of what this controller can do. Yeah. How please that. Never I didn't actually you know, start the intro properly. I did the setup, and then I was like, oh shit, it actually just goes directly into it. Fuck. I just quit out of it. Uh, most I'm mostly doing it because I know I can get I can get platinum in it. And like, yay, more platinums. Platinum's the connection. Unlike with Spirit of the North, where I've got the I've got the PS5 version of Spirit of the North as well. I kind of want to stream that because it's such a good game, and also another platinum. Shameless platinum hunter. I know I am. Ah. Uh, but yeah. So we're here. We are doing um case clear up on Sherlock because we are at the end of the game main quest line basis. Like it, it's the thing like you know, I'm fairly certain that talking to John in the mansion triggers the end of the game. I'm I'm sure that that is you know where we're at. That is so how close we are. That basically I need to do an interact prompt and confirm this is what we want to do, and that will be the end. We'll get the full revelation of what happened with um, with Sherlock's mother, and then that will trigger the ending of the game, and we'll get to see how we did. But I took, I did a poll last week after um, after Callie had gone because I said I didn't feel. I didn't feel right about um, doing the ending whilst Callie wasn't here because Callie specifically requested this game. And everyone pretty much unanimously voted, go and do all the rest of the quests, cases first. So that's what we're doing. We're going to go and do all the rest of the cases on um, in the game, including the DLC ones. And then after that, we're going to go and do that. So I estimate... I would say no more than three more streams of this. I'm happy to pre prove them wrong. I'm happy to get through the cases slower than that. But I am thinking there's only going to be like three, maybe four more sessions this. We'll see. We shall see. Um, there is currently the SCP stream um, challenge going on at the moment. Um, there is also, after that, going to be a drunk stream um, challenge in the making, uh, which I will discuss with Fox, and Fox is up for that. So, most likely going to be Far Cry 5, but who knows? We might change it, um, or you know, do something different. It, it will be the pair of us getting drunk and playing games, and Fox being Fox. Um... Can't think of anything. Oh yeah, I'm going to be um, doing like strange sort of, it's going to be like, I don't want to call it a survey, but it kind of is a survey. I'm going to be doing a survey on uh, my streams and you know, what people like about it, what they don't like about it, and you know, how they would think things could be improved. I'll be putting that in the Discord server, hopefully in the next day or two, and basically see, you know, how people think that I can improve these streams, because... As far as I can personally think about it, I can't think of anything else I could be doing. So yeah, I also you know, not getting yet. I'm not getting any feedback on if, if I'm doing anything wrong. So I'm opening that form up for doing that. So 
watch out for that in the Discord server in the next couple of days. If anyone want to actually get around to making it, might do it after the stream today, depending if I'm awake enough. But yeah, so let's catch up with some chat, get chasing down those cases. Um, hello, welcome, DJ, with the fuck is that emote? The lurk emote, but they're coming out from uh, it's like, going to lurk be going away? I don't know. Um, I want you controller because um, if I did mouse controls and Overlord Rising Hell because the mouse controls in that game need sharp turns to even be able to control it, and that doesn't work. Yeah, Overlord is definitely one of those games which was wholly designed with um, a controller in mind, not mouse and keyboard. On time level, not a good time to level as it's tight time level. Yeah, get yourself a, get yourself a cheap Xbox 360 wired controller. It works. I mean, in fairness, if it's a decent enough PC. With a little bit of software, you can connect um, even a um, a wireless control to it. Just need a USB cable that um, connects. Done. I mean, I for um, when I was doing um, Dragon Guard, for example, I was using a PS4 controller linked to the PC. Worked fine. Oh, I'll mal into the chat. Um, Lafayette de de survived despite being badly damaged by four bombs, six kamikaze crashes, and straight from fire that killed 32 and wounded 71. Assistant Communications Officer Lieutenant Frank Mason asked Captain Beckton if he thought they'd have to abandon a ship, which he snapped, no, I'll never abandon a ship as long as a single gun will fire. Beckton did not hear a nearby lookout softly say, and if I can find one man to fire it. <laughs> Kelly, hello, welcome. Eee. Play little Busby today. I forgot how ridiculous it was. Yeah, I saw that one up in um in there, and that's one of the newer ones. I remember it from ba being back from the SNES. Busby's fa oh god, what was it? I can't remember what the game thought. I think it was just Bubsy. Bubsy strikes back. I was going to say Bubsy's bad fur day, but that's Conquer, and those are very different games. And this year, a thousand percent ready for it. Good, glad to hear it, Cali. Life was declared a national landmark in 1986. Oh, yeah, same as me. Which then should recognize as the only remaining US owned Sunder class destroyer and for a spirited survival of the Kamikaze attack. Fucking lo love the USS Lafo. Uh, I'm more of a fan of the Bismarck. Bismarck's a fucking, yo, megalith of a machine. You, hello, and welcome. Boop. Hey. An unlurker mode? Could be. Could be. Could be. Oh, another game I love. I only like the original. The second one never really sat well with me. I never finished the original either. I got to one of the last bosses and I just stopped playing. Never picked it up again. I played Overlord Dark Legends on the Wii, loved it. Fair. Very last landmark. I'm trying to think of something to apply to that with, I just really can't. I have heard friends fell you Oh shit, sorry, I heard it, DJ. I don't boop you fools. Oh, it was Jace on your account. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As an actual landmark, Mark, how do you feel about the prospect of being torn down by a bunch of chavs angry at the government? They're welcome to try. I'm going to bra break their fucking necks. Bring it on. The level of Dark Wizards just needs to find your Wii. I think I still have mine. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when I went to my parents and looked at the stuff in storage, I still have mine. I don't think I've got any games for it, but I'm pretty sure I still have it. We only the games just need some wires. I know that I had two games for my Wii, maybe three. No, no two. I had Metro Prime Three and Super Smash Brothers. No, I actually didn't even have that. Did I actually have any other Wii games? Oh no, I bought Twilight Princess, but I never played it. Yeah. I have actually had anything apart from Metroid Prime. I'm trying to think if I had a um, a Mario Kart game. I didn't, because the last Mario Kart game I played was Double Dash on the GameCube. And 
I had Super Smash Bros. But yeah, Super Smash Bros. Melee, but that was on the GameCube as well. That's why I'm thinking I played all these games on the Wii because I played a lot of GameCube games on the Wii because they both worked on it. Yeah. Go, Kelly Capius. Hello, Capius. Hopefully, you don't run away this time. I've got to talk about blood. I'm trained today in a deposition in Blue Screen My Brain. The most embarrassing, funny things happen to me. Well, that sounds horrific. Was it went flawlessly? No, it did not. No. Perils of, being, yeah, perils of being a lawyer. You get exposed to some real weird shit. Please find your wires for it. The Wii U will work, but it's best to have my um, Wii for modeling purposes. But I never got a Wii U. Never saw the point. I didn't see the point because I didn't. I had one game for the Wii that I played, completed, and never went back to. It was like, I'm just playing my GameCube games on this. I might as well have just kept my GameCube. I'm really sad I didn't. I miss my freaking GameCube. But yeah, that is everything caught up with. He was just a scammer of his existence. It was basically them prototyping the Switch. What the Wii U was, was they prototyping, prototyping the Switch. The deputy was a trainer for the Blood Hands, and we just diverged to that topic about 20 minutes before going and getting back to the case of hand. Oh. Oh, at least you got um, some edu edu education in it, learned it. Yeah, learned stuff. Right. Over to game. And State today now knows my weakness. Bloodhounds, apparently. I thought it, I thought it was well known in your office that your weakness is me, or you know, well-spoken British people. Where the fuck am I? Where the fuck am I? Oh, it's the old ruins thing. I thought I was doing that. Hounds. Well spoken, huh? Coming from you, you fucking peasant. These walls hold on secrets, including one of ours. John gave me a hint on how to recall what happened here, and I can't ignore it. Remember we began Old City when we walked along Bizarre Road, past the ruins of the Fort of the Holy Spirit. Back then we found something, and John claimed to have a plan for it. Oh, let's go for this one then. The accent. And my eloquence. Hello, friend. Listen here. I speak with the utmost uh, eloquency. Also translated it for you. Fucking Goomba. Um, bizarre road. Ruins of the Fortress of the Spirit. Okay. Where the fuck's Bizarre Road? Right there. Goom, somebody who has the ground taste, little man, thunk. Grass. Oh, by the market. Oh yeah, John, you behave... Right, John, I'm going to change you back to normal as so long as you behave. If you don't behave, you're going to become your walking seaman. Are we clear? Do I want a peanut butter Klondike bar? Klondikes. Climbing. Hey, it was an old skull. What a lucky find for a pair of young adventurers. It was easier to climb these walls back then. Not merely because we're older, but because the ruins are too. Of course. You said we needed to bury him. Do you remember where? Well, 
One would think burying a human skull would stick in the mind, but somehow... No. Questions, what would you do for Klondike? Go to my refrigerator. Nice. An old man was standing here as we passed. Oh yes, I remember his face as we flew by with a skull in our hands. He looked as shocked as our grisly companion. Nothing ever bothers an old Ottoman backgammon player. They yeah, missed one that has a skull. They found it. They found it in some old ruins where they used to play. This wasn't the right place for a funeral. We were looking for somewhere more appropriate. Funny, nowadays you love putting men behind bars. You're a fellow of infinite jest, aren't you? <laughs> There's a fuck it skull. Don't fuck the skull. The water level was higher back then. I remember swimming through this mire while trying not to breathe in the horrible odour. John, what the fuck? Why not have several holes? Yeah, but the texture. They will be shallow as well. That's water given the outfit. Can't deny it. John just became the biggest little swimmer ever. He's now a wet seaman. Oh god, now, there's, now, there's, now we're seeing village people in chat. Oh. A burrow spot. This is where we buried it. It seems that with time, our friend has emerged once more. The skull is ancient. Its likeliest owner was one of the knights hospitaller who died during the siege of the fortress. I remember now, you said this skull was my father's. A child's imagination is <laughs> You needed this. A burial process of your own. A ritual so you could begin to grieve. Here hung those lips that I have kissed. I know not how oft. <laughs> I felt so alone back then, John. Uncertain. Abandoned by my father. I know. The skull wasn't his, though it may as well have been. In the earth, all of us look alike. But putting this man to rest, it did help. I'm glad, Sherry. I find myself rather tempted to keep it. If not for sentimental value, then it's archaeological merit. Well, there we go. 
opposite of Sherlock, obviously. Probably still alone, you're talking to yourself. Is John not real? No, John is imaginary. John is a figment of Sherlock's imagination, who I'm very certain is a trauma response. My first room is I'm catching. Ah! <laughs> well... Very sadly, Mal, you have got, you have missed pretty much the entirety of the storyline. We are now at the point where we have the point of no return with, for the ending of the game, and I'm going around doing um, case cleanup. Um, we've also encountered Moriarty, who is not Moriarty, but is called Werner Vogel, who very much seems to be Moriarty. Although, to be fair, with this, this entire time, he hasn't um, been revealed to us, so who knows? Uh, what that? Do this one or should we do Treasure Island? Oh my god. Ah, uh, because I can't, I can't remember where all those indicate. Oh. Do flashes of merriment. Join us approach to the Wall of Legacy Theatre located between Bonaparte Street and Quenalita Street in Scaladio. Bonaparte and Quenalita. Scaladio. Thank you, Barthel Moriarty Angle. Mm. Just, a, just a load of the ways that he speaks and a load of the things that he says sounds very Moriarty-like. What happens if you put um, a piece of dynamite in um, the tunic of a old French um, commander? He becomes Napoleon blown apart. Legacy Theatre. Poster on the wall of Legacy Theatre. This Legacy Theatre. Here's the weird mathematician thing from the beginning. Yeah. It's awful. This ain't anything like that. Pretty awful. You're welcome. Remember, sympathy. Yeah, sympathy. I feel that. Empathy. I feel you. Like anthropy, I feel a woo. Oh, Hamlet. Oh, so it has taken root. What's My taken God, root? No. As I recall, when we were growing up, this theatre didn't welcome kids. You've forgotten, John. Come to the back entrance and I'll refresh your memory. <laughs> I could do worse, Mal. I could do a lot worse. Because you weren't here to hear it, um, it last time I told this. What do you call your werewolf girlfriend that you want to marry just so you can get status in the pack? A like and trophy wife. Let's close this fucking jar for the life of me. Is that joke somewhere? Yeah, I think I did it in my... I think I did in Discord. I made it up and I got proud of it. So I placed it places.
Mm. Oh, Jesus. I hate having these just out to brush my teeth. Oh. 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 Oh, God. Oh, that burns. Oh, that burns. Oh. Ah. Oh. You didn't put toothpaste on the sound and eat it? Oh, God, no. Just do a sour very early on the um, stream. I brush my teeth just before stream. Vengeance is still enough mouth, my vengeance will never be quelled. Go eat a potato. Dangerous, always. Okay. Huh? Yeah, I still see nothing. You need to focus, my dear friend. Watch Maybe some of my players can't elude. Are you playing Hamlet? Was our glorious stage. Ring any bells? Ah, oh, we don't need to dwell on the past, Sherry. At least potato don't have any near me. Go out in the back garden, harvest some or something. And Hamlet's mother, Gertrude, taking poison. What was the name of that girl? Oh, uh. Georgina, of course. She was our neighbor. Oh, I remember her. She liked you. Oh, damn it, John. And there you were. The best supporting actor. My silent scene partner, my Yorick. Your presence inspired me. And brought me to tears. Yeah, it hurt to know that's all I could be. Inspiration. I couldn't even play the king's ghost. How's that for irony? To be or not to be? <laughs> Indeed. I know why you wanted to forget. The show forced you to confront your limits, except no one else would ever see you but me. Why do you think I cried? Let me take you behind the theatre and remind you. Roughly as well. Yeah, the audience was thrilled. And still hear their roars after the final act. You were so pleased with yourself when the theatre director came down to admire your work. He applauded. A huge gesture from a man for whom children on stage was an anathema. When your headphones have a heavy, and my jack can come off, so I can actually plug headphones into the headphone bit and mic to mic bit. Oh, nice! I'll hear it. One small step for a man, one giant leap for students of the dramatic arts. Childhood is a time of naivety. I cannot now imagine seeking a career as an actor, drinking wine all day, and gaily treading the boards at night. Yet you often pretend to be someone else in your search for the truth. You can't act like this side of you disappeared completely. 
quite. This above all to thine own self be true. Case complete. So yeah, these cases are kind of small. Or at least those stories are. There's a trophy linked to that one. Trophy is essentially do that challenge. And to be honest, people want to get people to hear me, so I have trouble with the sound times on OBSO. Fair. Sound bounce is a thing that it takes a lot of people to get um, a while to get used to. Oh, I know where that one is, at least. I think. Boobs. I don't. That one I do know. I'm fairly certain that's the bridge that the guy was shot on. Or stabbed. I don't know these locations anywhere near well enough to know where I'm supposed to be looking for them. No. Oh, let's do this. This has been peeped by talk that um, Basilio Capello, the owner of the Armour Capello Home Security Company, has been arrested. His situation is quite peculiar. Man named Dincola Detti is found, found dead inside the safe in Basilio's store. Basilio claims innocence, but there's evidence against him. Are we shooting people again yet? Not yet. We get into a fight. We will do, yes. John suggests that I should join the police officer. I shouldn't reveal to any of the suspects I'm not actually an officer. Right, so we need to go to the police station. We need to go to Nino Nino place. There we are. Let me just know the sounds for games. There. Uh, wardrobe. Wardrobe. Police uniform. Copper. Copper topper. The mask goes over your nose. I love that. No makeup. Why did they make him so pretty? Well. I'm a police officer. Honest. He's even been putting up... The stack is behind that, isn't it? Missing item posters. Oh, no. Use the teacher. Last Ah! I hate these. I really do. No, it's only just so tongue in cheek. He's even been putting up posters. The sailor one is the best one, but I don't have the. That's available to me. This poor man. Oh, no, no, yes. Hey! Local music teacher has been putting up posts in Central Scaladio around St. Clement's Cathedral, appearing for the information I on violin. New case! String theory! String theory! Do you think? Callie, what do you, what do you, what do you think this is, um, um, how Sherlock gets his, um, interest in, um, his Tradivarius? I can't want to go to that one now, because I'm curious. Just a little physical humour there. Probably, yeah, I want to do this, I want to find out. But he still has the police hat on. <laughs> it's a 
could do that. A normal mask for normal people. <laughs> oh. Um, no, I need string theory. Around the cathedral in central school. That's the cathedral? That's the city hall. That's the cathedral. I can't fast travel to. Oh, fire engine. Which will always remind me of the of the Dark Souls badly translated mod. At the end of the game of Dark Souls 3, instead of summon the firekeeper, it goes, Do you have a fire truck? <laughs> he runs up such a dork, he does. Okay, so around the cathedral. Ah, there we are. Stolen. My old violin has been taken. If you have any information you, that made it into my instruments return, please visit me on Professor's Road, north of Alder Street in Scaladio. Any help is appreciated. So, Professor's Road, north of Alder Street. Alder Street, Professor Road. That's uh, along here. It's not far away. Take a look. Try it on. It'll be a nice purchase. Guessing here. I'm having deja vu. This house seems so familiar. I'm having deja vu. This house seems so familiar. Well, here's the guy. Greetings. Would you be here about my violin by any chance? I am. I saw from your posters that it was stolen. The name is Sherlock Holmes. Very pleased to meet you, Mr. Holmes. I'm Anthony. Anthony Jones. But uh, by the sounds of it, you haven't seen my instrument, alas. <laughs> but Excuse me. if there's anything you can do to help locate it, I'd be most glad. Just tell me exactly what happened. How was your violin stolen? Some needy soul broke into my home while I was out. The only thing of value they took was the instrument. Did you report the theft to the police? I did, but they dismissed it as petty theft. Don't get me wrong, eh? I don't blame them. They certainly have more important matters to deal with. Hey, hello and welcome. Benedict Cumberbatch has a game. <laughs> It would be another crime if I let some petty thief get away with your beloved violin. Let me help you find it. Oh, thank you very much. I cannot tell you how grateful I am. <laughs> Come inside, I'll show you everything. Feel free to look around. Also, like a thief in general will not take a violin that would likely not know the value. Which is why we're, I'm thinking it's not a thief. Or well, not a gem not a thief in general anyway. Broken lock. The door was kicked in. We could bake apples here. Or smoke a duck. Ooh, or make pizza. Do you like pineapple? Really, John? This cover is dusty. It hasn't been taken off for a long time. And <laughs> Kai just goes pineapple. The thief left the bow. I suppose he prefers pizzicato.
Oh my god. The jagged bottle reeks of cheap whiskey. The scrap of fabric is covered in white stains. No. Reading review bombing and um, or house killer game. Yeah, because people currently do that to VR chat. Glass, he just broke. Yeah, it's key, but not all. Ah. An utterly useless theft deterrent for a glass display case. Nothing was taken except for the violin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not even the bow. That's a nice cello, though. These are intricate pieces of music. Quite beautiful, if my sight reading holds true. God damn it, John! He really wanted that violin. He really did. I see you've received many accolades. Ah, those are from a long time ago. I used to perform a lot in my youth. What how the devs do? They can go away. Yeah, what what the devs are planning with doing with VR chat that I've heard, mm, not the best. Not the best at all. Anything else you'd like to know? You weren't here when the burglary happened, correct? I was tending to my wife's grave at the cemetery. I was only gone a few hours and locked the door before leaving. Does anyone else live here? No. My dear Emily died long ago. And God never blessed us with children. I used to give music lessons, but nobody visits me anymore. So we've got a, um, yeah. All evidence collected. Okay, so what have we got? Um, we are going to find the scrap of fag brick. Go find out what this white stain is. Behave. Two, one, minus four. Oh, not this again. Not this again. Paint could be paint. Ow. Oh, I've got that, don't I? So, four. Two. Three. Um, I don't say a person on Discord. I don't say what are you doing? If that doesn't help for me, is some of the most disabled friendly. Have me talking to the game. Right, they ban message saying disabled people shouldn't be on the game first. Like, oh, ho, ho. wow. Gentle and welcome. You come after being forced to watch a 20 second Coca Cola ad. Wonderful. Ad blockers. Salt and gunpowder. Well, bloody trail. 
in the Obodon. Did he like it? Ah, there we go. Could be worse, could be in Plymouth Cloud. This is true. I don't think we really tend to get those in England. I regret having an account now. Makes me glad I never had uh, one. Where did you go? Mr. Drippy Drippy Blood Blood. Ah, this way. Oh, he started picking up speed. We're now it's the November plus glad season. Time for me to stop watching things and install ad blockers. God. Fresh fruit. Freshy, fleshy, fresh. Not really where you should be. The trail stops here along the ways. Hello, sir. Would you like some fruit? Fresh that would probably be 30 seconds at least. I'm not hungry, but I'm looking for a violin that was stolen. Any chance you saw someone with one? Uh, oh, yes, I did. It was sailors, sir. And they were very good. Freshy, customers. fleshy, fresh. Yeah, I, I caught that as well. He looks like their friend. A lieutenant, lieutenant, lieutenant Sean. Hmm, a lieutenant. Did you see where they went? No, sorry, sir. I was helping other buyers. Oh, and sir. The sailors also took my donkey, so I guess they weren't very good customers. They promised to return him, but they didn't come back. My father will kill me if he finds out. So I'm still waiting here for them. Do you know Anthony Jones, the musician? He lives nearby. Of course. Mr. Jones is very kind. He never barters. Funny you ask. I'm yet to crack a smile, so pray tell. Well, the first time they came by, the sailors mentioned something about music, so... The chance they can Mr. have. Jones can teach them how to Never. Play. Wait. So what is his violin? Oh. Oh. You couldn't have known they would steal from the old man. Fortunately, you made up for it with your testimony. So we like you to get political seats and that, but our political views and whatever. Staples. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Stolen donkey now. Some say it was stolen not only by him but also a donkey. The animal's owner didn't see where they went, but perhaps the other merchants by the cathedral did. So they took a musical instrument and a donkey, and there was a white substance. Are we in Tijuana? Apparently. Mm. Can I ask you a question? I don't think I'm rich enough to talk to you, sir. I need to disguise myself like a worker again. I think I do. Give me two seconds and we go and rent a worker's outfit. Come closer and try something on. You the finest clothes. He's literally fucking getting the images. Ah, I won't do. Or should I? No, I should get a merchant's eyes, shouldn't I? And what, what? Oh, it had a sign there because it's not available to rent. So yeah, look. Semen all over. Would definitely in Tijuana if I wear this. Well, no, because if you get Chill Out VR, runs on the same engine, but developers actually know what they're doing, actually listen to the fan base. Oh, I'm not so for working Chill Out VR. is more free to be on Twitch. <laughs> Jesus. Leave me alone, Mum. Fetters are cool. Love it. Uh, thank you to Shin and E for your contributions to the SCP stream challenge. A perfect choice.
The merchant who assigned the hero is now gone. Could you help me? Oh, every story has a price. You're lucky I'm telling you this for free. One of the traders remembers the sailors pushing the donkey near a drinking fountain by the archway with a column. What? So here. Of tracks. The donkey was being stubborn, but so were they. There we are. The first lead in our asinine chase. Oh my word, what even is this? One of them lost his cap. Asinine chase. Yeah, I caught that as well. They certainly bought a lot of fruit from the boy. Fear of scurvy, perhaps? What are they even doing? A pile of dung. An act of defiance. I hope it got on their shoe. Ah! <laughs> oh, but the wet whiskers now. This must be Lieutenant Sean. The sailors couldn't get him inside the tavern. Don't forget to point the boy to his donkey on our way back. That's all you do, aren't you? Yeah. Let me see how everyone's doing. Go to sleep. Yeah, no problem at all, Shin. Thanks for coming in as long as you did. I'll see you later. Have yourself a good sleep. Grief, those drunks are reeking hot. Right, who's causing ruckus in the tavern? Playing cards? No. Wrecking the tavern, yes. Police are useless. Oh. The place frightened. Ah, grief, those drop. Say this, Papa. The place frightened, wrecking the tavern. Yay! The group of Riley say is a wrecking havoc in the Wet Whiskers Tavern. They're raving mad and dangerous. No wonder the patrons are afraid to stand up to them. What will we do with the drunken sailor? <laughs> I will go and very quickly go back to the kid and point out where the donkey is. Just, just quickly. Also to change my focus. Uh, yeah. I found your donkey. It's not far from here, outside the Wet Whiskers Tavern. It's not allowed drugs by the pharmacist. Oh shit, so I hear that cue. Did they say why? Thank you, sir. I'll be quick as a flash. Hey, Yusuf, please look after my cart, okay? And don't eat anything. Well, you can have a couple of grapes, but only the small ones. I look forward to the beautiful reunion. On the challenge. Let's, let's get back. Missed it. <laughs> Literally ran right past that. Okay. Your folder doesn't exist, apparently. What the fuck? Sounds like you need to, um... Like hell. Uh. Oh. 
well, he's doing quite well for you know having two bullets in his dick. Don't cry, you'll live. The snuff's ready. Take oh. a rest. Give him the pepper snuff. Broke his knee. Shot. In the face. I couldn't miss the party. Oof. No more crime for you until next month. Don't cry, you'll live. His jaw. Is there a way that he can be done? No. I'm coming for you. Do some. The snuff's ready. I'm coming for you. I couldn't miss the party. Give a no more crime for you. That's got a hurt. You don't shoot me from all there. Take a rest, my friend. Well, they left me no choice. I think I might be nearing intoxication myself just from the smell of them. Search the tavern. We can wait inside the tavern. Uh, which has been come back down is why I read it's to be pissed off the autism community by saying I learned how to be autistic aka okay, so I was playing that one movie and that person was a two year old in an adult body and at any time when people say sure it's autistic I go no he doesn't act like a two year old that's incredibly shitty So it should be in here. I mean, I can hear it being played. <laughs> and that's just atmospheric music. Why is it actually is in here? Might actually be here somewhere then. Oh, there it is. Maker stamp suggests it was made by a student of Pressender. Quite a lovely instrument. And somehow, after all the mayhem, it's still in one piece. You give it back. Yeah, sometimes just one walk to the um, person and says something like that. I'm a cystic, fuck you, yeah. Yeah. A lot of people aren't the best when it comes to stuff they don't understand. Or even worse, think they have an understanding of and actually don't. Here's your violin, Mr. Jones. 
It might have gained a few nicks and scratches, but considering what it's been through, it's a miracle that it's still in one piece. God bless you. I am deeply in your debt, Mr. Holmes. The scratches don't matter. They are like scars, each telling a story. It is the sound that matters. Oh, you should hear her sing. It would be my pleasure. This melody, Sherlock, don't you recognize it? Look up, Sherry. There used to be an attic up there. We used to sneak in from the roof and listen to Mr. Jones play when we were children. You should tell the old man the truth. I think it will mean a lot to him. Bravo. I'd forgotten how beautiful a violin sounds in the skilled hands of a virtuoso. That uh, melody it brought back some memories. I have a confession to make, Mr. Jones. As a child, I used to sneak into the attic above this very room and listen to you play, spellbound by the music. Oh, so that was you. After my wife's death, it was difficult to pick up the violin again. But knowing someone was listening helped me persevere. In fact, Aww. a young man like yourself breathe a second life into this instrument. It's a remarkable outlet for one's emotion. You should have it. I... I can't accept that. And, well, I don't play. Ah, uh, it's never too late to learn, Mr. Holmes. The way I see it, the violin chose you. Take good care of her. Aww. Jerry, I'm really glad we helped him. His first bow. Acquire Shark's famous violin. Some do say sorry and some don't. I think he's one of those that um, didn't say sorry from the look of it. Quite possible. I got given his violin and somehow he was playing it while the bow was still there. I hope you'll enjoy playing it as much as I did. Yes. <laughs> this house... Spares, I guess. Just have spare bows. They're... They're not something like a guitar pick, put it that way. Anthony Jones gave me his violin. I can't imagine a more moving reward. I feel indebted to learn how to play it, even if it were a trial on John's patience. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do the iron coffin now. <clears throat> back to, the, back to um, the police station, and now I need to actually dress as a police officer. Hello, fellow officers of the law. I am a completely ordinary officer, although I'm able to do all of your jobs better than you. Honest. In the holding cells, okay? Not like I haven't been here for fucking ages. This over says somewhere about eight years ago. Jesus. When my sister was playing an instrument really fucking loudly and complaining a lot, she had spare bows. Generally not so common thing though, you generally have one bow because they're really well made bows are fairly expensive. So they have to be made a very certain way. Oh, what a long day. Go per.
Could you help me? Oh, I don't know about that. Ask one of the others. Over. Excuse me, but are you Mr. Capello? My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm hoping you could spare a moment to talk. Manners, what a pleasant surprise. Most of your colleagues have lacked even the simplest of common courtesies. The fuck is gripping to his chin? I'm an honorable cop. You're a suspect, sir, but not yet a criminal. I shan't treat you as such. Your case is refreshingly unusual, and I wish to get to the bottom of it. Manners and enthusiasm. Huh. May you go far, young man. What can I help you with? Focus, look. Elegant new clothing, fresh and fashionable. Bruised hand, recent trauma. Ooh. Wedding ring, tight on the finger. Basso Capello is the local proprietor of the famous Armour Capello safe, lock door and home security company in Cordona. He's currently being held in a police station, holding himself as a primary suspect in the case of Dudley's murder. He's in his early 40s, has a flair for new and fashionable. His frustration bottles are up in the police station, but could be prone to violence. Has a bruise in his right hand, which might be the result of a fight attached to his family. Or... In his early 40s, a methodical man who puts business and principles above all else, keeps calm and focused despite being arrested, has a bruise on his hand, probably had to defend himself recently, values his family life. I was going to say it's methodical. You are surprisingly composed for a man accused of murder. Not so easily shaken, I take it. Life is full of surprises. You'd be astonished how many deals go sour due to a force majeure. One becomes skilled at adapting. I am confident this will all be set straight. Until then, I will endure. Much how like you that injured sure. hand. Those bruises look painful, but you seem barely aware of it. Were you attacked? Ah, no. A minor accident, nothing more. My heady days as a man out to prove his valor are far behind me. I now know that to succeed in life, one must stay calm and plan ahead. The world will turn your way eventually. All right. And if it does not, then one must persuade it so. Please, tell me how you ended up in this situation. Well, this morning some clients arrived to finalize their purchase of a Copello Modular safe. But when we opened the door, out tumbled a dead man. And I take it this wasn't normal. <laughs> no, I normally keep my corpses in the wardrobe. Please, young man, spare me your wit. The rest of the day was a blur. I recognized oh, the victim, God. and it seems Thank so you for the hydration reminder, DJ. That and for your contribution to the SCP stream challenge. Suspect. Who sent for the authorities? No one. As it happens, we had a break-in last night. Nothing was stolen, but for insurance purposes, the report had to be made. So... Police officers just happened to be on the premises when we discovered the Thank body you for the You mentioned you were showing your wares to some prospective buyers when the safe was opened. Who were they? Clerks from the bank. They inspected the safe from top to bottom yesterday. I assumed the sale was just a formality at that point. And the safe was closed? It's usually open, but it locks automatically when the door swings closed. That's another marvelous Copello invention. A coffin that locks itself. Marvelous indeed. Help me grasp your movements yesterday. What time did you meet the customers from the bank, and did you have any other appointments? Yesterday, inspected the safe. Uh, the bank clerks arrived at 10 a.m. Uh, afterwards, I was alone in the office until yep. my wife Augusta came in at 3 p.m. I left for home at 6.30 p.m. And what about this morning? Our meeting for the demonstration was set for 9 a.m. I arrived about half an hour prior in... Either they did it, or someone climbed in inquiry. and the door closed behind them, and they the time suffocated. The safe door was closed? Young man, I may just as well ask you when you closed your cigar case. I have opened our safes a dozen times a day for a dozen years. I do not recall. 
You say you became the suspect when the police identified the victim. Is there history between you? Surely you jest. That I have one we have to have change, though, so if I Unless he became the first detty in history to use our products. Some sort of family feud? I'm afraid I'm not familiar. Ah, you must be new to Godona. It's an old tale. Back in Italy, generations ago, the Dettis tried to ruin our family business. They nearly succeeded. The Capellos rightfully struck back, but there has been bad blood ever since. And does that blood flow in you too? I told you, sir, it's an old story. Or it was. I fear this horrible event portends worse to come. My wife may be in danger as we speak. I'd like to inquire about the burglary. I'm not sure I see the connection. But if you wish to know more, talk to Billy Lloyd, the night watchman. He scared off the thief. Was it also Billy that discovered the burglar? No, my wife did. She had stayed late yesterday. Poor Augusta. At least she's safe with the police is that? home alone. Well, Mr. Capello, I think that's all I need from you at present. Where can I find your office? Here, take Broke my card. Broke your wife, then. He's really in prison, be to be fair. Accused of murder. And please, sir, would you check on my wife before you depart? Thank you. I will endeavour to speak with her before I leave the station. Please, treat her gently. Women lack our resilience when it comes to ordeals like this. I shall eagerly await your return. After all, there is little else I can do. Break out. Advice from the lawyer. Break out of jail to protect your wife. <laughs> Uh, for robbery, the first thing is nothing was stolen. They come back in testimony. People in interest include Night Watchman Billy Lloyd, who's at Alma Capella of Sonata Street, but says, well, who's currently in the police station? Oh, bitch, do not just, I'm sorry, that's my only response. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's like this game that they play at the beginning of this game that. It is. It highlights some um, opinions and practices and ways of doing things that are not acceptable, not then and not now. But include, you know, but erasing them is a bigger crime in of itself. So they are keeping them in. Obviously, I was just I'm just working on this guy. Oh, good. Yeah, obviously. I was just explaining you know, why the game's included in being like that, because you know, accurate, accurate portrayals. Waiting in the inspector's office. Mrs. Capello, please wait in the office. The inspector will be here soon. You must be the inspector. Would you be Augusta Capello? Must I really repeat myself to every baby-faced man in uniform that strides in? Also accurate. Cops come in and ask questions, suspect answers. I knew. Forgive me, I am not the inspector, but I am working on your husband's case. Then I have nothing to say to you. Come back with the inspector in charge so that we may dispense with the endless repetition. There's a crime with children, they will out. Of course. Glassy eyes. Used laudanum recently. Oh, lovely. Lovely jubbly. Golden Harpin, passed gift for 1875. Ring finger marks and fidgeting. I would say sign of infidelity, but I do that. I do that with my rings. <clears throat> with a husband like that, I would too. Shocked or emotional? Augusta Capello is the wife of accused Basilio Capello. She's in her late twenties and while previously involved in the music, currently works with her husband. Has been fidgeting with her wedding ring due to stress. Has recently used laudanum but doesn't seem accustomed to the drug. Or? Has been fidgeting due to her vaccination. Has recently used laudanum and may be accustomed to the drug. I don't know. Which one am I supposed to? That wasn't a lot to go on to base that, these assumptions on.
She seems stressed, okay? Stressed. We'll go with stress. Fine. Whilst I prefer German composers, the harp solo from Lucia di Lammermoor stands out as one of Donizetti's finest contributions to the form. I'm sure Basilio thought the same. He... he did. How? Doc. Did he tell you how we met? Oh, there was no need. It is trivial to observe how much you value your memories of playing harp in the orchestra. And even an amateur Italian harpist would be familiar with Donizetti's finest work. Yes. Music is a balm in these uncertain times. It is nice to meet another who appreciates... Isn't considering the case I just sold. I appreciate the truth. Please, Mrs. Capello, let me help you and your husband. I am not unappreciative, sir. But I'm afraid I presently lack the strength. Basilio tells me you were present during the burglary yesterday. What can you tell me about it? Oh, it gave me such a fright. I fainted, fell to the floor. I wish I could help you, but uh, I'm just utterly useless. Please, oh. I want to rest before the inspector arrives. Were oh. you familiar with the deceased man found in the safe? No, I did not know him, nor can I conceive of how the poor soul ended up there. You've had quite the day, Mrs. Capello. You did it. I shall leave or she was involved with it. further questions, I may visit again later. They're having an affair. Yep. Um. Okay, so we're on this. East of the Cathedral in Stradio, Alder Street. Alder Street's all that long road there. There's a cathedral, so it's somewhere along there. What the actual tits? Officer Holmes is on the case. Why does that not sound right to say? Why does it really not sound right to call him Officer Holmes? Okay, right, no problem at all, Gally. Getting ice cream finally. Take your time, isn't it? An hour ago that you said you you were wondering about getting that. You're as bad as I am. Me, I'm hungry. I should probably get something to eat. I'll wait a little bit. Me an hour and a half later. Hmm, I'm hungry. I wonder why. Remind me dealing with the customer saying, Shut up, bitch, go back to work. Like a good woman should do. I I said, um, I may be polite to you now, but when I stop working, I can be up for a sleep on to you and your ass. I may be female to do weightlifting, bitch. Ah! Well, here it is. Hello there. Ill-fitting pants, wonky nose, and hair that appears to have been cut by your own hand. You must be Billy Lloyd. Oh, it's you. I knew you'd come. You did? You're Mirko Gallia. The best investigative journalist on Cordona. I'm a fan of your work. Alas, you're mistaken. The name is Sherlock Holmes, and your employer... Oh, of course. Discretion. I'm sorry. I, I doubt the policeman upstairs heard me, though. So your secret is safe with me, Sherlock. Mr. Capello told me you were present during the burglary okay. and scared the criminal off the property. Okay. You should have seen it. As soon as the burglar saw me, they went white as death, ran out the back door of the office. I heard a thud and cat shrieks, so I think they went over the railing and into the bushes out back. Clearly, my reputation precedes me. Mr. Capello was... Oh! Mm, you're a guard, but you didn't give chase. Well, by the time I made it outside, they were miles away. Miles so away. I went back to help Mrs. Capello. That kind of gentlemanly courtesy is why I'm so well regarded around these parts. Miles away. What did the thief look like? Shorter than me. Mid-twenties. A huge scar across the right cheek going from the eye. Short hair. She didn't look like a ghost. Too corporeal. Hold on. She? You didn't think to mention the burglar was a woman? Why did you assume it was a man? It's the 19th century, sir. 
Ambitious young women are out there pursuing a career, and I, for one, encourage it. Yes, theft yes, is not a career. Theft is not a career. Jesus Christ. Oh, also, I need to check something. Hey, it works. <laughs> I don't know. I do not know why, but for some weird reason, when I um, streamed on Sunday, I think it was, <coughs> the redeems just stopped working because I killed you. <laughs> <laughs> when did the burglary happen? Oh, uh, after 10 in the evening. I was just talking to Mrs. Capello. Does she normally work this late? No, it's the first time it happened. But usually I'm alone at night. I was explaining Stars. to Mrs. Capello how drinking water every three hours can help with digestion. When she excused herself and went back upstairs. You and really are screen, full of all uh, kinds I of shit. Office, uh, and... I know what happened next, thank you. What about last evening? Do you have any more details about the break-in? Of course. I you just heard a scream from outside. Take a look. Actual no. In its Real life. Dignity, but I will make of it what I can. I must go and inspect the crime scene. If I have further questions, Mr. Lloyd, I will find you. Well, don't worry. I won't be able to keep away. Right. What? What? Well, did you hear that as well? I'm kind of worried. Yes, here's the office. The best on the market. You can wallop them, you can burn them. Nothing will work. I bet he tested that himself. <clears throat> Dave Combination Miner. Miss Lloyd, the code to all safes in the office is 00130500. The future, can't you refrain from locking your trousers as our merchandise or you will have to reconsider your employment? Yeah. Oh, shit. Stream elements wasn't there for me when you streamed. Had to log into stream elements and make it join back in. Wonder if that's what that was similar to what happened um, um, last time. What's that scream? Did you hear it clearly? Because I'm starting to wonder if it was just actually in game. Because, you know, if you hear, if you heard it clearly, it came from in the game. If you heard it faintly. Then it's more likely to have been outside. Right, clearly. It'll be in the game then. What the fuckery? It's the game. Oh, he was in he was alive when he was in there. He was alive when he was put in there initially. Ooh. Oh, why do I get the worst jobs? The bottle is half empty. You pessimist. A wine, well enjoyed. Recently used, but why would it be here? Because the wife was having an affair. She was having an affair and she... She was having an affair with him and to hide him, she said, you know, go and, go and close yourself in the safe. It'll be fine. And because she didn't know the combination to open it up, he died in there. That's got to be what it was. I mean, I'll give it, I'll drink it. Same. The whole thing I go, an optimist says the glass is half full. A pessimist says the glass is half empty. I say, who the fuck drank half my pint? Um, can I have a observation? There we go. 
blood on the safe door could have been left by the victim. 100% did call that Kelly. of blunt trauma possibly inflicted before the victim was in the safe. Bulging veins, cyanosis, bloodshot eyes, odd foaming in the mouth. No, it wasn't an affair. That's poisoning that. I think she poisoned him and put him there to try and spark off um, a feud because she's been having a cross family feudal relationship thing. Bruises, torn nails, bleeding was severe and continued at length. That's where my fingers go. Clothes are not fully buttoned. Was the victim dressing or undressing? What a rotten way to die. Yeah, what a shame. What a rotten way to die. Oh, Jesus Christ, when the fuck did you get back up here? Up here? Oh, um, actually... No. Sorry, hello, welcome. Is this code memo still valid? Oh, yes. It's the same combination code everywhere. It corresponds to Mrs. Capello's birthday, actually. In fact, during this year's celebration, I was allowed a sip of champagne. That's when I had to dry my trousers, and then I had to... Okay, thank you, Billy. Didn't need to know that. I, I know of it, but... forgot. Um, I don't know. Do you know anything else about the dead body in the safe? Well, there is the rule of threes. You can survive three weeks without food, three days without water, three hours in harsh weather, and three minutes of you talking without air. Ah, oh, ah, sorry, ah, ah, so ah, no, 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 have you noticed anything different about Mrs. Capello recently? Mm, not really. She talks to me more when I start my shift. Probably because of the 100 best curry recipes book I'm reading. Oh, and uh, we've been running out of paper a lot lately, so she often sends me out to buy more for her. She's very particular mm. about the paper we use. Not only one store on the island stocks it, and it's on the other side of the town. But I'm really fast. Mm. Interesting. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he was doodling a fucking dog. Oh my what god! Can you tell me about Mr. Capello. He's a good employer, but very focused on work, and very serious about security. Of course, since he employed a night watch of my caliber. Not everyone appreciates his strict business approach, though. Store clerks don't seem to last long in the office. Good to know. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this is I've got to go, I've got to check out the back door. I need to find out what is on the mouth. Two minus six five. If I went for a walk, I'm sorry, yeah, how it's going. Nice. Are this minus ones and plus ones? Yes. So we've got combine, uh, change from uh, minus to plus, or other way around, increase by one, decrease by one, and double. What does that, this do? Oh, it, it actually does double what's in there. Okay. Okay.
But does it multiply by two, or does it double it? On the way home, I saw a skunk scared crap out of me because I wasn't expecting to see it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing that what I'm doing with the customer. Three weeks without food, three of this, three of that, and three months of you not shutting the fuck up. Yeah. Oh yeah, so you're, you're right, exactly right, yeah, Kelly. Okay, so um the plus Plus needs to be with you. Pretty sure it's two minuses afterwards. Uh, uh, yeah. Now two combiners. Combiner, hardly newer. The foaming around the mouth is the result of light intoxication, most likely from wine. So it wasn't poison. He was literally, yeah, that's exactly what it was. It wasn't, po yeah, you know, he wasn't poisoned or killed. He was just put in there for a fucking um, um, uh, affair. So let's note to Augusta. Augusta, we do not have time today for a chat because of my important client meeting, but I'm concerned about your desire to work such late hours. You seemed happy about it, which is why I did not bring it up previously, but perhaps it is best we have a conversation. I'm sure we can find a different arrangement. Basilio. Cheaty, mm. mm. cheaty, eggs and breaky. Two theatre tickets for Shakespeare's Othello. The performance is tomorrow. Huh. I have to respect the classics. Ugh. Oh, there's this. The concert program from seven years ago. An Augusta La Ducha is listed as a harpist in the orchestra. What's the danger of jealousy that play? Ah. Heir to the Detti family returns home. Nicolo Detti, a young heir to the Detti family business, has returned to Cordona after 12 years of study and working on the mainland. This coincides with Orezio Detti's departure to Italy, and hints at the possibility that Nicolo is intending to take over the filming business in Cordona. We will, watch we'll be watching as the situation closely as it develops, and will endeavour to obtain a reaction from Basilio Capello. The Capello and Detti feud has been existing for over 200 years, and even though this acrimony has been muted for the past few decades, some still remember the conflicts of the Gonzalo Detti and Vitalio Capello era. Excuse me. We're hoping that Nicolo's young mind and Basilio's calm business attitude may find common ground. Hmm. So he knew that he was coming in there and kept that up for some reason. Yago great um graze a fellow into murdering um Desdemona because of his jealousy. I don't know Shakespeare. I really don't. Orzata, Signor Capello, it has come to my attention that Nicolo Detti is soon to return to Gordona. We do not know what that means for the future of the Detti family, but Orazio seems set on staying in Roma, so take that as you will. I want to strongly advise on behalf of the whole family that you avoid contact with Nicolo. We have no doubt you wish you will be able to retain your composure, but even if provoked, but we do not know what the Dettis are planning. Beyond your guard, the family reputation is at stake. In Bocco della Lupo, Naldo Gianni. Coded, not trades, thank you. What? Right, I didn't see the word trades. What? Basilio Capello's diary. The diary shows Basilio Capello's schedule planned weeks ahead. There are several noteworthy recent entries. First, meeting with a detective from several weeks ago, and second, two dates labelled with the safe, yesterday and today. Well organised workplace. Mr. Capello is the best. 
Okay, stop following me. Seriously, stop following me. Bunch of vents, so. Trample grass. Where did you run? That way, apparently. Why is there cats all over the place as well? God damn it, John! Ask you something. I can't talk to a police officer. That's the end of it. Is this familiar to you? No, it's the first time I've heard it. Okay. Look at the bushes in the backyard during her escape. Letter F is inscribed within a four leaf clover pattern. Pass Muraille. Walk through walls in French. Our thief seems rather arrogant. A comprehensive set of lock picks, recently cleaned with no fresh scratches. No fresh scratches! Meaning, they weren't used. Door was open. Hmm. 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 If you've got more shit to talk to him about. Do you know anything about these entries? No, but Mr. Capello is so well organized. I use a different method, very popular among the Buddhist monks. You create an attic in your mind and... I'm familiar. Keep it tidy, put only necessary information in, remove unnecessary information regularly. What? No, it's called an attic. You just stuff it with everything. You never know what might prove helpful someday. That is profoundly upsetting. I, I know of it, but forgot. Do you know whose keys these are? Probably Mr. Capello's. Police took him so suddenly. I have the same set, but it's more efficient. 
has fewer keys. So you don't have access to the entire office? No. Only Yikes. Mr. and Mrs. Fellow have the key to the back door. Do you know what this note might be about? I cannot presume to know another's mind, of course, but... I think Mr. and Mrs. Capello have been having some familial difficulties, probably due to their lack of children. One of my oldest friends helps couples with their relationship troubles, and he always says... You don't have to continue. <laughs> well, he says that to me as well, but I'm... I'm <laughs> no, I insist. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to continue. Oh, he says that to me as well. <laughs> right. Uh... Just going in the bushes in the Recently cleaned. The bag embroidered with letter F inside a fully clothed with a pattern. The back has passed morale written through walk through walls in French written on it. So I need to go to and look at that up in the arch in archives. But which archives? Like literally, what the fuck? I actually don't even have all the evidence here either. What the fuck? Oh, it's probably the painting. Strength, security, peace of mind. Hmm. Tacky. Well, you know, that's your opinion, good sir. That was last bit of evidence as well. <laughs> Tacky. <laughs> so I could go to City Hall, the newspaper, or the police station and look for this. I do not know. I don't. I have no idea. I really fucking don't. Guests of Cordona, find hidden treasure. Ah, uh, doing now. Right. Archive. Don't have any of the evidence for that. Maybe it's police. Maybe it's the police archives. Instruments of crime. Property crimes? And suspects. Profile of Felicia Savine. Felicia Savine, age 26, currently affiliated with the Backyard Boys gang, acting as their master burglar. The Backyard Boys had a high dance on Clay Street in Central Myers End. She had a distinct scar on her right cheek, gives conflicting stories as to its origin, but has had it since at least age 18. After her parents died at sea and she wasted her inheritance, Felicia turned to crime. Has been arrested several times, but has been cooperative with the law, lessening severity of her punishments. Uh, maybe it would be wise to take a look around outside before we enter. Just a thought. Suggested keep my ears to the ground when near the boy about your boys' high My help us with an adult generous encounter. Clay Street in Central Miners End. <laughs> Miners End. <laughs> Where is the claw? 
What's the cloud process? That is a very fucking long uh, road. Let's say central though. Central, so it's probably around here more um, likely than anywhere else. Also got no fucking fast travel points in this part of Maya's end. Was on the immediate picking of a suspect. Yes. Oh, it's a hound road and then there and then around. Uh... Hey. This should be Clay Street. Yes. Hey. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Have I done something wrong, officer? Because if not, I think I will move on. Best if I go in here not dressed as a police officer. Other gangs are planning an attack on the backyard, boys. The pipe is looking for information. I want information the pipe wants and where to find him. It's a gun. Other gangs are planning it. Thinning the ranks. John was right. Seems that the backyard boys have mobilized. Due to botch robbery of armor compelled by Felicia Savine, they believe that another gang set them up and they're going to attack soon. But I've heard, however, that the pipe the limping information broker of the gang is calling his beggar informants. The pipe can be found in the marketplace in Central Myers End on Market Road. this but I need to have a talk with someone I need to be in the right attire as well and really I'm not so send me something bro back go for it I need to look more like a criminal I could place in central Myers and on my on my road. So there, Myers market. Oh, why did not pick up on that immediately? Building trader. The worst clothes at the best price. The worst clothes at the best Step price. Step right up. And buy it though. Oh. 
I hope you'll be comfortable in it. The worst clothes at the best price. Could you help me? You're asking the wrong fella. MP information broker of the gang is Queen's Baker and Foreman. Nice. In the marketplace, limping. Hello, mister. I have some information for you. I'm not interested in the advice of a man like you. Move aside. I've places to be. Fine. Despite being used, these good the worst clothes at the best price. Really do not rightly know where I'm looking for, so I'm just looking at pressing up to every single um Oh, and I just realised I'm going down the wrong re wrong um, street. Stop you getting hundred percent chips. No, nah, it won't. Uh, thanks. Th thanks. Now I can't actually do anything. Hey, stunlock. I can overcome the brute. Hey, you the snuff's ready. Don't cry, you'll live. Give him the pepper snuff. I thought we were against murder. You thought wrong, John. No, you killed him. Time to knock this guy. I thought we were against murder. 
but you slipped. Kill five enemies. Okay, okay, I give up, I give up. Entering John's diary. What? Cherry just killed a man. Too bad I cannot read his mind. One always thinking. Does he regret it? Ha! Okay, they sent me messages to a customer. So basically, customers complaining about money and they've been getting up um, at £100, not £200. What the fuck are they working at? And Sarf says you have more money than the average Warhammer player. And I know one. She's my boss. Ha! Not murder of it. Self-defense. Rebel with a cause. Interrogation room. And here we are, Miss Sevigny. A place where we can talk about all your recent activities. We have a nice profile on you, you know. What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. Is there nothing you didn't do, Miss Sevigny? Thieve for the gang? Break into the Armour Capello office? Kill Niccolo Detti? I... What? Kill? I didn't kill nobody. No, I... How? So you admit the rest. I suppose ah. you won't mind explaining some things to me then. Observe. Strange lockers. Lockpick hidden inside. Wash clothes. Double-sided jacket. Torn trouser. Cat claw marks on leg. Lucia seven years a burglar and a thief in her mid twenties. There are claw marks on her torn trousers from when she clumsily fled to see the crime at the armor capello. She has a lockpick. Look at the computer's a lockpick. Her jacket is double sided. She is ready to vanish discreetly as slightly slurped, as if she were never here at all. Or we'll show off. She has a lockpick because it's a lockpick. She has a to quick disguise. She's probably a trainer and is showing it off, but only to a trained eye. Stay prepared. You were in the Armour Capello office yesterday evening, Miss Sevigny. The same place that Niccolo Detti was found dead today. What happened? How would you know? You can't prove anything? It's written all over you, Miss Sevigny. I presume you did not intend your evening to end with a fall over the railing and a fracas with felines. Need I continue? Oh, with felines. Ah, oh, alors. It was just a job, nothing else. I was asked to come. That's, that's a stream yeah, bot title, a fracas with felines. I don't know who hired me, but I think they wanted to pin the crime on me. Poor Niccolo. When were you offered this job? Ah, oh, mon dieu. Um, I don't remember precisely. I, I think the letter arrived around 9.30 in the evening. It sounded tricky, but the money was good. And you arrived at the office? Perhaps 45 minutes later? I am very good, sir. I was in and out in five minutes. I don't like lies. No, no, wait. Um, okay. It took 15 minutes. All right? Still impressive, no? You knew Mr. Detti. How? Nicolò and I grew up together. I hadn't seen him in years, then ran into him on the street, smiling with some lovely lady on his arm. And that was the last time you saw him alive? Wait. Some lovely lady. Yesterday. That same woman was there, too. It can't be coincidence. You saw a woman in the office? Mm-hmm. She started screaming, so I slammed the safe door and ran when I saw a guard coming. Your thieving days may well be over, Miss Sevigny. Until this matter is resolved, you will remain here. Good day. At 7 a.m., I'm in need of urgent assistance from someone with the mastery of the burglaring arts. You are to enter the Armour Capello office tonight at 1.15 via the back door. I will leave it open for you. You are then to proceed to the next door to a large decorated safe. That's your target. You must have it open as fast as possible. Do not take anything from the safe and leave the safe, leave after the safe is open. The compensation for the job will be more than generous. Damn, I'm death in iron safe. Ba -ba 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 -ba.
So she's the one who opened the safe. I actually... Oh... I'm starting to think it wasn't the um it wasn't Augusta. I think it was um the guy. I think it was um the um the owner of the um security establishment. I think he knew about the affair and he wanted to um send a message to his wife. This is seven year admitted that she was the burglar in the armor capello office office. She was hired by an unknown client for the job. This is pleased to see the woman who's called us in her sitting room. Um no does he? She's currently under arrest and police holding cells. Because of the scream when she saw Niccolo, I don't think Augusta's done it. Hmm. Let's go and talk to Augusta anyway and see if you know how she reacts to the testimony. If I can, and that is. What exactly was your relationship with Niccolo Detti? Who? But what are you talking about? Madam, please, a young woman dedicated her music and an enthusiastic artist, your marriage to Basilio could not have offered all you needed. And then about six months ago, you met Niccolo Detti. There was a spark, you started to see each other. It brought passion back into your life. How c could you? But your tryst didn't go unnoticed. Felicia Sevigny spotted you with Niccolo, but rather than cease your affair, you took care to avoid the public eye. You started working with your husband at the office and met your lover there in the evening after Basilio departed. Billy would not notice, and you hoped neither would your husband. Do I have this right so far? I... Yes. I love Basilio, I truly do. But his first passion is his work. I, I respect that, but it left me... Adrift. Niccolo. <laughs> Sweet Niccolo. He was the man I needed. If he had had any other name, I... I would have talked to Basilio. But he was a detti. And your husband suspected something. I... I think he did. He asked questions. Billy's schedule was moved forwards here. Yes. Yes, he suspected. And thus, we arrive at the heart of the matter. How did Mr. Detty end up deceased in the safe? I... I do not know. Madam? I don't know anything about his death. Are you sure this is how you wish to proceed? It is the truth. Please, just leave me be. Lawful neutral. Interrogate every suspect in the safe murder as a police officer. Perhaps for the best of this case is believed to have been solved by a police officer, not an outsider. Though I did enjoy myself. Mr. Capello was in the next marital relationship with Nicola Dettino. Refused to talk about that. Right, so let's go and talk to um, Mr. Capello. He is down here. Oh, what a long day. Were you aware of this, Mr. Capello? Of the relationship between your wife and Niccolo Detti? Uh, enough! I will not hear it! Augusta is an impressionable woman feeling the stress of this horrible situation. She does not understand what she's saying. I see. So, you think... I think that if you want to help, you should stop bothering my wife and find the criminal responsible. Not much to say. I'm sorry. Another question? Mr. Capello, have you anything to say about the burglar's claims? Not a whit. The woman is a liar and a criminal. I don't give it the slightest credence, and neither should you. I'm afraid I have nothing to add to this. 
Another question? Another question? I'm afraid I have nothing to add to this. I'm interested in some entries in your diary that may prove important. Could you elaborate on these ones here? Bene. I won't name the detective, but the rest assured that is unrelated to the investigation. It is just one of our clients. And those safe entries are about an interested party who was going to purchase the product. We met yesterday, and today were to finalize the transaction. Alas, that opportunity is no more. You've been a good help. Not much to say. I'm sorry. Not much to say. I'm sorry. What was your intent behind this note? This, this is private, young man, and hardly relevant. Its relevance, as it were, remains to be seen. Uh, my wife, Augusta, joined me in business half a year ago, but works late hours. I worry because I love her. What else do you need to know? I appreciate your candor. Is this note still valid? Oh, yes. We use this code by default for each safe. Now, sometimes a buyer may ask to see how it can be changed, it's but I always do. reset it afterwards. And the safe containing the body used the default code, I presume? As it happens, no. In my demonstration, I wanted to show the bank clerks how easy it was to set a different combination. Interesting. Thank you. That is definitely him, then. It's definitely him. Another question? I'm afraid I have nothing to add to this. I'm afraid I have nothing to add to this. How long have you known your wife, Mr. Capello? How is that relevant, young man? Please, I need a complete picture of all the parties involved. Consider, perhaps, the possibility that the burglar was targeting your wife. It seems unlikely. Although, if a detty was out to threaten my wife... <sighs> we met seven years ago. Augusta was a harpist with an Italian orchestra. The passion in her eyes back then. I am glad she still has some of it now. And you and your wife get along well? I love her most dearly, and I know Augusta loves me. I fear someday she may be bored at work, but I try to give her all she wants. Yeah. I believe that I have found the truth, Mr. Capello, and that truth does not show you in a good light. And here I thought I had found a bright mind. Why would I need to kill Niccolò Detti? It's simple. Motive. You knew about Niccolò and Augusta. You loved her, and the Detti and Capello conflict is well known. You had to protect your family's reputation. Any simpleton can find reasons for me to dislike a deity, though it takes a special kind to concoct an imaginary dalliance, too. How do you believe I killed him? Just threw him in the safe? That could have sufficed. Niccolo may have been unconscious, and you admitted you had full access to your office for most of the day. Or you could have changed the code during the day, then arrived unannounced in the evening to leave him nowhere better to hide. And why on earth would I do that? To get rid of a detty? To force a confrontation with your wife? Either seems entirely plausible. To you, perhaps. But how would I even know when to do the deed, huh? What was the window of opportunity? I have a timeline, don't I? You planned this. Billy's time of work was changed, you met with detectives, you planned when it would happen to the minute. Indeed. How very convenient. Except the detective was my client, and I moved Billy's shift because I was worried about Augusta. I, I, <laughs> young man, if your mind were applied to something useful, you could truly be something. The game is over, Mr. Capello, and today, you lost. You may think so, but just wait until my lawyer arrives. The police might see things differently. Perhaps, but the truth is the truth. My work here is done. Good day, sir. Don't get your decision. We did all that work, and in the end, nothing about this case changed.
John didn't agree. John apparently did not agree. Screw you, John. A lot of shit already for this one. Or I can go and find some more cases. Yeah, I'm going to pull up a guide and look for some other cases. You did indeed, Kelly. So what have we got? Outstanding. Thank you. Address from Manor County. Okay, so my story is all completed. Mycroft cases, I have eel hunting. Uh, let's see. Love, Death and Cordona. Missing shopkeeper? I've not done the missing shopkeeper. Okay, that's a Minecraft one. I'm probably that's probably waiting on the eel eel hunting to be done. Um, let's see, the master of disguise is done. The collie shangles. Nope. Splitting the loot. Nope. What? What was did in the shadows? Fuck's sake. Scapegoat. Plan B. I've only done the first of the um, police cases. Other cases. Siren Song. Nope. And to be fair, that's actually all of them listed there. Spring Theory. Yes. Reach Magic. No. Iron Coffin. Just did that. Blindsided. No. Bonus stories, that's probably one of the most I've un un done. Tale of the Empty House is the one I'm currently doing to um, uh, refurnish everything in the house. Science is golden, done. Treasure Island, I've got that up at the moment. The Hand Me Down, done. Flashes of Merriment, no. Ghost Hunter, no. All the Birds, no. Mad Rogue, yes. Pillar of Knives, yes. I've got quite a lot to go then, apparently. I've got one Mycroft one um, to find. I've still got the other one um, to complete. Most of the police cases still to do. At least half the other cases, and a fair chunk of the Cordona story still do. So, yeah, we'll see that. Um, let's start. Well, let's just stop up and go down. Wow. 
Wow. Thanks, guide. We're going to sleep. Are you ready? Oh, nice, DJ. Apparently, got a good sleep. Uh, CV creepy, but good. I'm ready yet. Nice. Well, thanks for that. So, this eel hunting one. I was going to see, oh, is it going to tell me, you know, what all the steps I need to go through? And no, it just outright said, this is the warehouse you need to find. Thanks, guide. Let's go to a clay mission. He's just going to give it to you, so I'm holding off on SCPs. That's completely fair. I mean, we'll see when the SCP um, stream actually happens. We usually can get a good view in. A fast travel point anywhere near. We pair that fast travel points nearest um, a um, newspaper seller. So let's go and do that and see if we can get extra, stuff. Extra! The cheapest news on the island. Murderer sings Thank a cappello. You. As Basilio Capello stood before the judge on the first of his trial, he never looked more alone. Accused of the murder of Niccolò Detti, a rival found dead in the safe of the armed Capello officers, the facts seem overwhelming against him. Despite the strong support from the broader Capello family, the one person who could buy him with an alibi, his wife Augusta, has declined to accompany him to the hearings. With tensions flaming between the Dettis and Capellos, Mr. Capello has been moved to a more secure location until his fate is decided. Ooh. Jumps are wearing the, um... These are um, output. That's that. That's the closest clothing trader to a um, waypoint I've got. The finest clothes. The finest clothes for the finest citizens. Need that. Need that. Let me take that as well, just in case. And that. A perfect choice. Um. Uh, yeah, that is a scar. Okay. I need hair as well. That's the thing. The finest clothes for the finest citizens. Oh, there's no hair for it. Okay. Of course, think it over. Take your time. There's the scar one. Take a look at our clothes and accessories. All right, so that's looking like him. Well, Pat Jones, one of the usual lieutenants, might know more than the common song if you like. So, yeah, you would be found on the north side of the Finch Cannery in Silverton. Silverton, Finch Cannery. Silverton. Not say where the Finch Cannery is.
What a bunch of loafers. It's strange, but why should we complain? We'll be twice as fast today. Oh, I'm lucky to be close. So. The works mentioned the craze are much lighter than usual today. No idea where the fuck the finch canner is. Unless each of these warehouses is a different cannery and one of them just happens to be the Finch one. Central. So. Oh, there we are. Finch and Co. Cannery. Uh, oh, it's not. I thought he had one of those fire extinguishers in his chest. Oh, there he is. The guy with the top hat. I can't seem to find the boss. Where's Penza? I'm not your nanny at that muck snipe. I need to get more men to warehouse too now, so quit bothering me, will you? Need to get more men to warehouse too. Well. What we can be fine there, uh, Papa. I can do that, okay, so... Near warehouse number three, ex-military man lost his eye. Excuse me. My cross informer should be somewhere around here. Try not to mess it up, or you'll blow his cover. Last eye. Why do we have to pay them to look the... Who's on the game's payroll? Oh. They're discussing how they bribed some policemen to turn a blind eye to this warehouse. Excuse me, just one question. Hey, you're a lucky man. I know about this. Now he's located on Tannins Road in Silverton. I just did.
mean, I could just, I could be him. I just managed to have the right thing on um, that as well. He's from I don't see anyone else near Warehouse 3 who meets the description. This will break now, you got two this wall apps open on PC, but I have only one open. Oh, that's your PC doing that. Um, you can go to Task Manager and um, close one of them. Are you able to help me? Hey, you're a lucky man. I know about this. If one was unable to reveal Pan's location with you, though, he did tell me that he was a reduced number of guards warehouse three. Yeah, it could have been more helpful, but all right. Hey. Oh so, yeah, warehouse two. Warehouse two because you know guards are being taken away from warehouse three. Warehouse 1 just is lighter than usual, so they're not doing anything there. Warehouse 2 is, you know, where the, um, they need more guards, so... Higher guard presence, where the, um, the boss is going to be. Boy, these crates are heavy. Them too. It's heavy. You killed him. Hey, you could have kept him alive. No, I couldn't. No, you killed him. Hey, you could have kept him alive. No, you killed him. Ow. Dodge this. Can overcome the brute now. Too simple. It's time to knock. I thought we were against murder. <laughs> hey, you could have kept him alive. I thought we were against murder. It's fine. My lawyer said it's not murder if it's self defense. It's all yours now. Hey, you could have kept him alive. I'm coming. Not any hands. Kill 50 enemies. Ow. Come on. Come get me. Take a rest, my friend. Don't need to kill anyone else now. It's just for those trophies. <laughs> There's trophies for killing people. I captured Panzer. Now I should report to the Yasmin newspaper. <sighs> Panzer is captured, but alive. Now to report to Miss Sertle. All the way out, then? Oh, probably not. Um, now back to City Hall, yes. No, I can't remember if it's... Newsp it is newspaper. I 
I deduced the location of Friedrich Panzer and was able to apprehend him. So I heard. What a coup. Congratulations are in order. And a new article in the paper. Perhaps a sterling stranger squashes smugglers? <clears throat> How kind of you. I'm sure with little more thought, you will land on the perfect headline. Huh? Oh. Uh, with a little more thought, uh, you're no writer, Mr. Holmes. Leave it to someone who knows what sells. Since you are here, Mr. Holmes, how about an interview? Catch of the day, old near by tail. Get to know the real you. Mycroft is rather tight-lipped, as you know. Information is Mycroft's currency, and he does not disperse it lightly. He will tell you a barefaced lie without hesitation if it advances his cause. As for your request, I'm afraid the real me pales in comparison to your vivid imagination. An interview would do us both a disservice. Hmm, perhaps it's best to let the mystery be. Uh, now, on to other matters. We have another case for you. Are you interested? Yep. I'd never hear the end of it from Mycroft if I declined, so please, Miss Sirtle, fill me in. I cannot. Your brother insisted that the contents of this envelope were for your eyes only. I can merely wish you a clear mind <laughs> and a fleet foot. Missing shopkeeper. That's right. Uh, Mycroft wants me to read a book by F. D. Has a red coat. John and Town. Do this task. Missing. Angelo Dondolo. Simon, one of our undercover agents, disappeared a couple of days ago. Your task is to find out what happened to him and, if possible, retrieve the sensitive item he was carrying. Details. The missing agent was last seen leaving his bookshop, which is located in the north of Old City at the eastern end of Setter Street. Description and those also managed me has a stack of books with him and wore a green hat, sitting inside a statue of seven eyes on the horse and item a book by FD it has a red cover. Okay. Northern Old City, East End of Sethi Street. Okay. Northern City. Northern City or North Old City? North Old City, East End of Seto Street. He's over here. East end of Seto Street. There's Seto Street. So around about there. Far away from my um, observation points. Um, after I'll point them. One of wild Jack D and D campaign Jack told me about. Jack played a knight and not a good one as well, and killed someone and said, "It's not murder, it's sport." Oh wait, that's murder. Puts knife in the body's hand. Now it's self defense. Got twenty. Dusty. Hasn't been touched for a couple of days. Hmm, a bit dusty. Hasn't been. Letter from Gobbler. Angelo, I've talked to my boys over at the Smithy. It's good news. Drop by with your favourite pair and I will work my magic on them. They will be as good as new in no time. I was at a chat with a physician and he confirmed my suspicions. Your back problems may be connected to the broken metal in in your shoes. I recommend you cease to wear them until they have been repaired. Good smell. Touched for a couple of days. All evidence. Fresh marks, damaged soul. You did wear your favorite boots. Such devotion. Angelo's footprints end here, abruptly. Not a good sign. Colourful piece of fabric as a bookmark. An elegant decision. That was all in front of the king. Oh my god. 
This must have left a grievous wound. At least truncheon that. He's put print size eleven. Someone had to stand here for a couple of hours at least. Eleven cigarette ends of the same brand. Somebody spent some considerable time here. A hasty job by an amateur, but Angelo was taken by surprise nevertheless. The man was waiting for me and I just was like, yeah, that's the yard man knocked him out with a club. That attack happened quickly. People there. Let's see if I can guys myself as a marchand. Is this familiar to you? Brother, you're fortunate I know something about this. One of the local residents saw two men in the unit had a few nights ago. One man had to support the other since he was barely saying, probably drunk. Went down the stairs to Castle Road in Old City. Once there, he put the drunk man in the car near the cobbler shop and rode off. Castle Road. Okay. Well, that's collected. Uh, Castle Road. There's the Castle Road in Old City. He wants there, but there's one. Steps. Oh, look, the coppers are in place. Irregular tracks, steep imprints. Bunch of blood. If she remembers. Green silk, a bit worn and faded, but still an impressive hat. Someone desperately tried to stop the bleeding. I think I found the place where they took Angela. Bike time. My friend. Don't. 
The snuff's ready. He's all yours now. Go for it. Take a rep. Give him the pepper snuff. Through the Don't wall. Cry, you'll live. We can overcome the brute now. Overcome him. Don't rush. I'm coming for you. There we go. Don't bother moving. The snuff's ready. Ah! I'm coming for you. Take a rest, my friend. Give him the... Not that easy! Time to knock this guy out. Oh, oh. No more crime for you until next month. He's all yours now. Go for it. Take a rest, my friend. Oh, they got themselves a nice setup in here for a gang. The bandits had as much fun as they could. Tracking down Angela. Keys of different shapes and sizes. What could you open with these? Blood stains all over the mattress. a collection of books, but none of them with FD as the author. He sustained a great many injuries. You can see it keeps trying to lay on my screen. Oh. Apius just wants your attention. Oh. They severed his finger while he was still alive. Oh, lovely. At last, I found you, Angelo. I agree, Q. That's vastly unpleasant. You eaten? Oh, that remains to be seen. Primary instrument of torture. How vicious yeah, one. Poutine. Oh, sorry, Poutine. Severed finger. No one deserves such cruelty. An engraving inside. Together, always and forever. 
Aww. Shit, you're a little fuck. <laughs> Talk about yourself again. French can't even decide on the on the rules of her own language. You just watch out, Q, or I'll have British <laughs> British Palatine again. up there. Ah. That's from Mr. Hyde. Boss trusted you and you idiots failed him. You should have scored the book by now, or at least know where it is. It's written by FD with a red cover. He must have hidden it somewhere. Find the book, burn everything else. If you fail, note that you'll burn too, Mr. Hyde. Mycroft should know about this. Nevertheless, the bandits did not find the book. Andrew must have hidden it well. I would laugh if it's under his mattress. Angela. It was under his mattress. Seems like Mycroft will get the book he wanted after all. Do you think it has a coded message inside? Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Oh. Oh, game. I said I was going to laugh if that happened, but I can only cry inside. Uh the paper. Ah, the illustrious Mr. Holmes returns no worse for wear, and with a gripping tale to tell, no doubt. While the matter proved rather simple in the end, I'm afraid the details are not for your ears, nor your readers. How very tantalizing. Your brother asked that I collect your report, and a book if you obtained it. Here is my report, and Miss Sertle. He will know if you opened it. I also ah. retrieved the book for Mycroft. Crime and punishment. Sounds appropriate. More than you may think. Uh-huh. How so? There's something else. I found a ring belonging to one of Mycroft's men. Did he mention anything further? Alas, no. Well, the man was a hero. Protected the secrets of the British Empire. Here, I'm please my deliver battery this ring slow. to Mycroft. I'm sure he'll know what to do. Is... Uh, I, I don't understand. Miss Sertel, I'm afraid neither do I. This is his ring. My Angelo's ring. Angelo Dondolo is your... Oh! Fiance. God... Your brother told me Angelo was sent to Roma. Oh! What happened? Where is he? Shit! Well, bollocks, that's, um... Now I don't know what to do.
You know what it does always say about the truth? Fuck it. Fuck you, Mycroft. Angelo died in the line of duty, but his bravery saved countless others. No, 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 not Angelo, not my Angelo. I, I don't, I don't understand. I'm sorry, Yasmin. Uh, Mycroft kept this from me. I am one of his best, and he kept it from me. He assured me Angelo would be fine, but he lied. You are not the first victim of Mycroft's cold calculus, and you won't be the last. Your work has value to him, and the truth threatened it. Well, by hiding the latter, he has lost the former. Thank you for your honesty, Mr. Holmes. Now, please. Well. Well. Wow. On that, yeah, that's um. Jesus, I wasn't expecting that. Really wasn't expecting that whatsoever. Oh. Real quick, you can be powerful in Path of Exile. Or raise zombies and summon phantom support. I'm, ma I'm massively stupidly overpowered. It's a ranger already. I'm only level 13. It's fine, though. That's, that's where I'm going to be leaving this on that kind of bombshell of an emotional ending. Um, thank you all very much for coming along and for all of your support. It's all greatly appreciated. Uh, I'm both freezing batteries to kill them to get something in there. Um, special shout out goes to Mal for the nine months of being subscribed, done via Prime. Thank you very much for that. Very much appreciated. Um, next stream for me is going to be tomorrow at 1 a.m. BST. So in about 24 hours, no, 21 hours time. Um, where I'm going to be going back to Bioshock 2 on hard mode and continuing through that. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to probably work on the survey today and get it out on Discord during the day tomorrow, so people can you know have it there and looking at it um, rather than it popping up at 4 a.m. in the morning. Um, Masochism Monday might be changing. It might be changing in the near future, depending on things. But there is a po there is a quite a high possibility that I will be changing around how Masochism Monday works. Um, all that to come. Um, anything else I really need to announce? I don't think. No. Yeah, I think that is definitely it. So yeah, with that said, thank you all very much for coming along and for um, your support. It's all greatly appreciated in whatever way you've chosen to show it. Um, until the next stream, though, thank you very much again and hope you have a good rest of your evening, a good night, a good day, a good morning or good afternoon. Whatever the time it is for you. Until then, though, stay safe, stay amazing. See you later. Bye.